Welcome to the second section of the Reactive Microservice Design course. In this section, we will introduce the three R's. Reactive Programming, Reactive Systems, and Reactive Microservices. You will learn the differences between Reactive Programming and Reactive Systems, and their benefits as well as what problems Reactive Microservices solve, and how can a tool such as Eclipse Vertex help. Reactive Programming versus Reactive Systems In this video, we will learn about the differences between the three subjects that are wrongly assumed to be the same. Reactive Programming, Reactive Systems, and Reactive Microservices. Reactive Programming is a trait of event-driven systems, or asynchronous systems, where one program towards reactions of events. In an oversimplified way, Reactive programming is the form how one writes code. One does not assume that the method call will return the response, but will need to provide a callback, future object, or a promise that in the future a response will be passed to this structure to continue the program flow. Consider the following diagram. On the left, you can observe a typical server client interaction on a non reactive programming environment. Usually, a thread is used for each request. A request is made to the server, and the thread blocks until waiting a response. Once a response arrives, it can continue to do some work. On the right side, you can see how a reactive programming environment handles this. The client makes a request to the server, but now the client is not blocked waiting. It can continue to do some work. As you can see, Reactive programming implements a better resource utilization. A reactive system builds on top of reactive programming and, as defined by the reactive manifesto, provides the means for an application to be elastic and resilient. Being elastic is important as we can accommodate to any number of clients and resilient will ensure that can survive failures. The reactive manifesto describes a reactive system as this diagram. This already gives you a hint of the characteristics of a reactive system, which we will discuss later on. Reactive microservices are the marriage of microservices and reactive systems. Given that the microservice is small in size with single responsibility, runs on its own process, independently developed, deployed, upgradable and scalable, has its own data store, distributed by nature, potentially heterogeneous or polyglot, and uses lightweight communication. By building on top of a reactive system, the developer does not need to focus on the complexities of distributed systems, and only focus on implementing the business logic to solve the problem. You should now know that reactive programming is not the same as a reactive system. And you should also know that the core characteristics of a reactive microservice. 